We all know the world has changed dramatically. As 2020 began, we were optimistic about the economic prospects for the year ahead. The global industrial recovery we had forecasted was underway and financial markets were rising. Then came the global pandemic. In the course of four months, COVID-19 traveled around the world, threatening the health of our families, while leading governments to close entire economies to protect the healthcare systems that they feared would be overwhelmed. The engineered shutdown of the world economy caused a collapse in growth and in financial markets. But unlike in 2008 and 2009, governments acted quickly. They provided direct aid to individuals and businesses in massive amounts. This stimulus has given markets confidence, laying the foundation for an economic recovery, what we are calling a new cycle. Markets responded enthusiastically, so much so that many are worried that equities have gone up too fast in the US, Asia, and Europe. Perhaps you're worried too. What lies ahead? How should you invest now? In our Mid-Year Outlook 2020, we set out our expectations for the global economy and markets. We also tell you what positive actions you can take to prepare for the opportunities and the risks we see ahead. What has been most remarkable to us at City Private Bank is the resilience that we are seeing, the spirit of individuals to care for one another, and the speed with which we are all adapting to these new and incredible circumstances. As a result, we at City Private Bank are more enthusiastic and expect a more rapid economic rebound than others. For a glimpse of what might happen next, we look to China, which reopened its economy ahead of all other countries. Since then, we've seen Chinese industrial production and their retail sales recover strongly. We think that other large economies could also follow a similar path worldwide. In the US, we're already seeing examples of these green shoots in activities like driving, home improvement, and new home purchases, as well as in outdoor dining. This short, deep recession will follow an unusual path. Leisure industries like air travel and hotels will suffer the most and recover slowly. Technology companies will benefit as there'll be more rapid adoption of their new technologies and their new ways of working. Retail businesses certainly will face headwinds while e-commerce companies will accelerate their growth. Stronger companies with access to capital will have an advantage while struggling firms will see bankruptcy and recapitalization. For businesses, we see this as a time of winners and losers and new beginnings. With various markets up strongly from their March lows, many investors believe that they've missed the boat, that they've missed the time to invest in the new cycle, but it has not passed them by. We think there is plenty of time to create great portfolios. Looking within markets, we see that many of the hardest hit sectors of the global economy are still beaten down. There are great companies whose shares are off 20, 30, even 40% from their highs right now. We especially like industrial companies whose shares have underperformed technology by use amounts. And we also like small and medium-sized companies globally. In the US, we particularly favor home builders, automation, financial services, and software companies. And then there are the amazing markets of Brazil and Mexico that are down by 50%. We think that Brazil and Mexico are virtually on sale and when the global economy turns back on, so will their markets. So for people to say that they've missed the market is completely wrong. We believe that there is much that you can do right now to take advantage of the new cycle. Many of the sectors that have outperformed in the pandemic were those that we recommended in 2018 and 2019. These were called our unstoppable trends and they still are unstoppable. We called on investors to buy healthcare shares, to invest in digital disruptors, companies that were transforming the way we do business, and to shift portfolios to Asia, whose demographics and wealth are accelerating and are likely to grow even faster after the pandemic. Even though these sectors have done well in 2020, we expect them to continue to prosper for many years to come. Nonetheless, it's time to add the beaten down parts of the markets to the unstoppable ones. One of the most important things to remind you these days is that cash is not king. One of the biggest challenges resulting from the pandemic are lower interest rates. You'll earn much less on your cash right now. And in fact, from a portfolio perspective, having too much cash will actually hurt your long-term portfolio performance much more than it has in the past. So what do you do if, like many of our clients, you have too much cash and you're not sure how or when to invest it? Many clients tell us that they plan to invest when markets correct significantly again. They want to buy the bottom or they buy the dip. Such attempts to time the market almost never work out. Investors in March have learned that the hard way. But there's a bigger lesson to be learned here. 
If you miss the top 20 days in any given decade, you'll lose almost all of the benefits of a managed portfolio. In other words, you have to have the majority of your assets invested in a core portfolio and leave that portfolio fully invested. While we may change what's in the portfolio from time to time, staying invested has created big wealth for generations. And that's our job. In the Mid-Year Outlook, we present all of the evidence for getting fully invested and staying fully invested, as well as our ideas for putting cash to work right now. If I sound enthusiastic for the future, that's really good. Our world is resilient and so is the global economy. But we are also very mindful of the risks that we face as we battle the pandemic and adjust to its impacts this year and beyond. We're watching to see if there'll be a second wave of the COVID-19 infection and seeing how governments and industry may respond. We're also watching relations between the U.S. and China and between Europe and China deteriorate. And perhaps most importantly, we're watching the U.S. election. No matter what, the pandemic will alter global supply chains and the shape of the global economy. To manage these and other risks wisely, we stress the importance of owning and building a globally diversified portfolio. Today's new cycle is a time to prepare you, your family, and your portfolio for the opportunities and risks that lie ahead. As you know, City Private Bank and its global network of investment counselors, bankers, traders, researchers, and product specialists are always hard at work, thinking about you and talking with you. So let us work with you to position your portfolios for the coming year and beyond. Make a start today by reading our Mid-Year Outlook publication and watching the videos that follow. At City Private Bank, we're your partners every step of the way.